Hi, this is Kevin with KGMGM, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com today and join for free and start advertising for free today. Okay, uh, well, I got to be careful how I do this because I can really go on a rant. But I, I'm going to start off by defending. Not, I, I don't know, how should I, what, how, what's the proper wording? It, it's, it's about what's going on with everything right now in the crypto world, on the Web3, everything. Um, things are tough all over. And what happened on the AMA the other day, yesterday or the day before, is at the worst timing possible. Um, and I'll, I'll explain that in a second. But let, let me let me start by supporting it, what's going on. Let me give you an example. Okay, VV is another, another site that I'm on that is pretty big in the NFT market. And they had a drop and still are in the process it's a it's a six day drop and it's uh of nfts a four member girl band each day is a different member a different girl and it's a, it's called blackpink and they're out of south korea okay and i've never heard of them before until this drop and i only heard about them because of vivi but Supposedly, they got over 100 million fans. When they did a North American tour, they did about 2 million people at their concerts. I, I don't know if that's good or bad when you're going throughout the entire country, but it sounds like a lot. But anyway, a lot, make a long story short, today was the third drop of the third girl, and... You'd think with the 100 million plus fans, you could sell 3,000 items, right? Not to mention, let's not even talk about the VV fanatics who are already on the site and will buy. You, you could drop a, a pile of shit as an NFT and they'll buy it. And that's no joke. I know that sounds kind of funny or disgusting, but I'm telling you, they will buy it because I'm one of those guys. But you couldn't even sell 100 hundred of them today and it, it that's just the way now it doesn't make any sense on vivi for that to happen but the point i'm trying to make is it's tough all over on all these platforms and there's nothing good being said about nfts to the general public at all and anybody who's been in this for any length of time knows that that there's just nothing positive being said it's all the same people talking to the same people uh us here in splinterlands it's the same faces the same people making videos the same people playing the game and that's just the way it is right now and it's it's almost impossible to overcome for any team let alone for something like what we're about to talk about here happen. Okay, so the the probably the 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 only strategy on any of these platforms that wants to be around is how do we keep the lights on long enough for things to turn around? You know, can't be doing hell marys. We can't be put. They, I think, V put out millions of dollars for those for that IP, and and I don't know. I don't know. I again, I'm going by what I hear, what I see. I don't have access to information that other people might have, but I, I think you get the point I'm trying to get across. So let's get to Splinterlands. What's going on with the AMA? If you didn't watch it, uh, Matt admitted that one of the members was farming assets and took advantage of the, uh, the high mathematical probability of you getting... Um, a jackpot prize and he did very well in fact he did so well that he evidently brought it back what i can't nail down is whether he brought it back because he got caught or he knew he was going to get caught because it's all over the blockchain um last night i, I became aware of it 
uh, more so when I watched uh, the uh, what's his name? Um, it, it's escaping me right now. I apologize. We'll go look it up here in a second, and I'll show you the exact video uh, of what I'm talking about. Uh, it's uh, why can't I remember his name? I think I got. I'm getting early signs of Alzheimer's. Tells from the crypt. Tells from the crypt. Go watch his latest video yesterday. Okay. Let's get back over to here. And and anyway, uh, he did a little bit of investigating. He knows who the guy is. He is a, a team member. I don't know how involved he is, like how high up or. Uh, but look, let's put it. Let's be very clear. Any team member farming assets in any way, shape, or form is not a good look. Now, I don't know if it's illegal for the team. Like if there's a rule, you can't, if you're on the team, do that. It's just not a good look. And this couldn't come at a worse time. It, it, let me tell you something. Cards might get a little bit cheaper than they already are in the next coming up in the next few weeks and months, okay? Just my opinion. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, to be fair, uh, that's all the information I got. But what it has done is open up a can of worms. Okay, whether, whether you know, because now you're going to get the imagination going, how bad is it? How many other members are doing it? Is that all of them doing it? Because don't forget, one of their big things is the, the reason things are so bad is because of the bots farming all the assets out of the, the, um, the game and taking it and, and profiting. Well, if the team members are doing that, I can't think of a worse look than that. If they're the ones that have been doing it, I'm not saying they're all doing it. I don't have any clue that any of them did it other than this one guy. And I really ain't clear on how that went down. Okay? So it's, it's that's how I'm going to leave it. It just doesn't look good whether it is as bad as we think it is or as good as we think it is that that even came out at all because it shouldn't be happening at all. That's my opinion, okay? Now, before this came out, I was already thinking about dropping down from two accounts to one. I had three. I dropped down to two. Why? Why was I thinking that? Because I really love land game. And I don't mind playing the game, but I like the land game more. And as boring as it is right now, according to everybody else, it's only going to get better if, you know, when 2.0 comes out and they put out more stuff, okay? So I started thinking, what if I took all those maxed out gold summoners I've got and, uh, max, you know, cards that I'm using in my alpha deck and put them on land, especially on the new magical one I picked up the other day, and concentrate on land and then just have one account. And bring the regular foil summoners over to my main account. And then just either sell, burn, uh, all the, all the you know, for glint. And I don't know. I, I'm in the process of figuring out. I'm not like gathering the magic. I'm not that good with numbers like he is. So it's going to take me a while to figure out. You know, I'm not going to do it tonight. It's probably in the next few days, few weeks, whatever. But that anyway, I could concentrate more on the land. And, um, of course, I got a bot running both accounts. So I could drop that down to one, which is not a big deal. It's Splinter Mate, and it's only a dollar a day or a dollar a month, I mean. So it's not bad at all. Um, but now after I found this out, I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably do that. But what I can't, you know, if I'm making good money or good assets in the guild, with both accounts, maybe it's better to keep it because the SPS and the merits to get cards. So I see, I'm, that's where I'm at right now. I just haven't figured it out, but that's what I'm thinking about doing. Okay. Um. With that said, let's go do some comments. And again, in the in the next few days or weeks, people are going to start talking about this. And like I said, it might be a nothing burger. And I hope it is. But look, look, Bronze Dragon just left, left a comment that I left on his thing. 
this is the second time I had to write this, and it's been happening to me a lot. I'll leave a message on people's video, and it gets taken off. And, you know, you'd think I'm crazy. It's just me, except Trash Panda contacted me the other day. And he said, Kevin, I I keep leaving posts on your on your video, a comment, and it gets removed. Are you removing my comments? I said, no. Why would I... Why would I remove your comments? I, I, look, I don't get enough as it is. Evidently, something is removing comments. Now, I went in and adjusted something on, uh, you know, when you, when you make the video, you can adjust it to where no comments are ever removed unless you manually do it. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But if you're a YouTuber and you're like, KGM Jam has not been watching my videos. I have been, and I've been leaving messages, and, and maybe something's triggering something. I, I don't believe Bronze Dragon would remove my comment uh, because we, we pretty much are on the same page. But anyway, here's the comment I left because he made a video. Go watch it. And, he, and he's, like everybody, kind of upset about this because, you know, hey, if there's anybody who should not be farming assets, it's the team or anybody on it, period. Something has removed my comments from the videos I watched. Transpanda contacted me and the same thing was happening to him on my videos. So here I go for a second time. Do not know the whole story and what happened, but what we do know is that at least one member of the team is farming for assets. I do not know the role for the team so on that, but in any case, that is a bad look and opens a can of worms at the worst possible time. I think this is going to affect the community in a big way, and the team will have to deal with it for the next month or so as people start digging for more data. Now now you got a light. This is like, if at the very least, people, if they thought it, they weren't going out of their way to investigate it. And that's probably going to change, especially like Tales from the Crypt. He's already on fire. You could tell in his video. And guess what? We need that. As a community... If you lose, and this goes for anybody, I, I don't care who you are, if you lose the trust of a community, good luck at getting it back. It, it's that simple. And the community will fight not to not trust you. And that's why it's so hard to get it back if you lose it because they're pretty much willing to overlook anything. Because, you know, they're, they're, they're the community and they love the game and they want to support it. And, but it, there's a point. And, like, again, this might be a nothing burger once we get all the information. But I, I'm just telling, boy, this is, this is not good timing. Um, anyway, let me finish. More data on what exactly is the extent of the team farmers. That, that's the question it raises. Is he the only one? Are they all farming assets? Don't forget. The big thing was we got to stop people from farming assets and taking them off. Now, if they're farming assets and keeping them, even that's kind of bad, but at least that's okay or if that's a word I can even use. But if you're if you're the ones draining the game as fast as we're putting money into it, then there's a serious problem. Serious problem. I don't have any proof that that's going on. But the fact that there's one that might have or might not have done it is something that's going to have to be tackled, okay? If you decide to downsize BD, you know you're welcome back because he went on to say that he's going to downsize to one account, uh, So, which means we're going to lose him in the uh, KGM Jam Guild because that was a secondary account that he had in, my, in, in, the, in the guild. And... That's that. I, if he does that, I understand that. I don't blame him a bit. I'm going to do the same. So we're going to lose, if I do it, we're going to lose two players in the guild. So we're probably, if you're in my guild now, we're probably at the level we need to be at. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the, and I already have, the store. And I'll probably do the shop. I'll do everything but the arena. Because... Then you need, then you get more phrase, and we can't fill the phrase as it is. So you know we're gonna have to stay in our niche for a while until things. You know, like I said, if if all these platforms, they've got a core group that loves what they're doing, 
whether it's Splinterlands, VV, Candy, whatever the group, you know, DraftKings, if they can just figure out, hey, let's just keep the lights on and not do anything that chases everybody away and, you know, give ourselves time to, to for – the biggest problem is getting over the hump on the, the mainstream. It's not happening, guys. Everybody who's in Web3 is already in Web3. There are no more players. And, and it's you go from any platform. They don't have lots of signups of any at all. In fact, they're losing people because Bitcoin right now is sucking everything dry. And can you blame anybody? And that's another reason I'm going to stop doing my DCA. And I had already decided that before this popped up. I decided, and, and not because I was upset at the team or anything. I said, you know what? Bitcoin's about to pop. And it hasn't, it, it already kind of popped a little bit. But you know what? Why don't I take that money that I'm DCAing in the game that probably is not going to pop, at least anytime soon, put it into Bitcoin. If it pops, then I got extra money to put back into the game, right? type of thing that's you know the mentality i had but everybody's thinking that and so uh bitcoin is sucking communities dry right now game platforms they just start not to mention we're in a recession and the world war threes can happen any day and the list goes on and on and on so uh anyway that that's where i'm at let me let me finish this uh, yeah, but I'm going down to one account also probably. So, and of course, he's welcome back if if he changes and you know things change. He wants to come back. Uh, uh, and like I said, all I need to do is figure out my secondary account earnings in the guild is better than putting my maxed out gold summoners on land and replacing my regular foil. Anyway, thanks for your perspective. And tomorrow should be an interesting stream. Yeah, he, I think it's going to be a good stream tomorrow. I mean, it's a good stream every week. And he was he missed it last week, so uh, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of venting, a lot of um, people pro. You, you know, this right here can get me jumped all over just because I'm speaking my mind. But uh, I, I'm not. I don't care. That's the way I am. I'm. I'm. I think I'm very fair though. I don't think anything I've said, and I'm a very big supporter of the team. I've proven it. I do that. Uh, through action and talk and I still am I still am I'm a still a big believer in this game uh, whether they can keep it going is the big question because now now he was very adamant about getting the nodes going okay and yeah I agree the more I, I mean I don't know who they use for their servers it's probably Amazon Google I imagine but no matter who you're using right now they're gatekeepers, and they are. I'm, I'm sorry, they're soaking everybody dry. Uh, uh, my opinion. I mean, what the hell do I know about servers and what they should be charging? But it, I, I got a feeling that's probably one of their biggest expenses is the server. I could be wrong. I, I don't even you know know the team. They don't even know who I am probably. But I'm just saying is that's that's probably a good idea if the nodes replace the servers on somebody you're paying a lot of money to, which I could be wrong about that. I, I think that's what the nodes are for. Then, yeah, that would be a smart move. And, you know, you've got a good, strong community that loves the game. Okay, so if they concentrate on that, but as far as them hitting a home run and getting players in, I, I just... It ain't going to happen right now because it's just not there. Everybody who's already going to get into this shit is already into it. And everybody who's not is, is not. Getting back to the black, the black pink, okay, who has hundreds of millions of followers, which might or might not be real people. They could be bots. Because let me tell you a little backstory about black pink. VV Vibes is the group, is the company that is that they're involved with. And these girl bands, these kid bands, they're corporate owned, okay? And they end up, uh, what they do is they find four 
kids, four guys, four girls, they already own the rights to the music. So they rewrite the music because a lot of their songs are songs from previous people all the way back in the 1990s, 1980s. They take the songs and then they just, you know, give them a little bit different of a sound, but the same words and all that. that that's fine. They own the rights to it. And, and that's, but when it comes to investing a lot of money into these groups on these accounts, oh, they, I mean, she literally, one of the members has 135 million people following her on, on Instagram or something like that. No way. Ain't no way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I but I don't I don't know how to prove that. I but I imagine a lot of them are bots because image is everything. It's money. It's it's contracts. It's um, uh, money for advertisements. It's merchandise, and um, you know. And, and the few videos that I watch about them, it's like all of a sudden I'm getting all these uh, emails about them and storylines, and I never heard of them before. So I don't know. It, it is what it's like the Kardashians. Kardashians are big because somebody's very powerful behind them, a lot of money, and, you know, promotes them. And, and, and anyway, I kind of lost track of what I'm talking about here. Uh, but anyway, let's go on to the next message. Let me label that real quick. YouTube comments. Okay, gathering the magic. Uh, thank you, GTM Max Summoner, so you can use your maxed out cards. Uh, yeah, he was talking about on his, uh, he made a couple videos today. And uh, the rare draws on the, in the chest are the ones you can pick and you automatically get a rare. 50% of that's going to be a summoner. And if you can max out those summoners first, especially with the extra uh, Gladius card you can use on it, you know, that's that's what I'm going to kind of concentrate on because if those are very powerful cards. So so are the reward cards, the soulbound cards. If all you did was concentrate on your glint game, which is going to change again because they're going to charge now for... I don't know the details. All I'm going to say is if you haven't heard, there there's proposals out there to charge you for the wild. And it's going to change. But anyway, the simplicity of the strategy is you get as much glint as you can to get as many free cards as you can to get more glint. Basic, easy stat. And you can watch this video. And uh, thanks for uh, making the video. Okay, what's this one right here? Bo bon Galaban. She's a, a teacher slash farmer slash gamer. Uh, go check her out. She makes videos. It's fun buying packs and opening them. Yes, it is. And I'm trying to think, uh, that was, yeah, that was a video I made about, oh, I got two, uh, out of 80 chances, I got two of those summoners, which I immediately sold because they're going for like 25, 30 bucks a piece. So it'd be very expensive to max them out. And I used that money to upgrade the guild. So I lucked out big time, but thank you, Bon Galaban. Uh, Baltz85, another YouTuber. So legendary draws and majors are the way to go. Good stuff. Uh, he's commenting on... Oh, yeah, they're all commenting not on my video. They're commenting on Gathering Magic. Uh, VT Matt Grew, congrats on getting two cards. I got two as well with about 350 chances. Yeah, uh, another person had 800 and they got two. I got lucky. I, I just... The last two drops, I've gotten very lucky. So thank you, VT Matt Guru, for... Oh, and, and killer dance moves, buddy. I watched your video. I, tonight's Friday. You might be doing it again, right? I think that's the last one you made. It was either Friday night or Sunday night or Saturday. Okay, archive. Okay, bronze dragon. Thanks for the video, BD, and enjoying the new Glint system. I just got done watching GTM Vid about the cost for store items and Glint. Yeah, he does a very good comparison on 
what you get out of per chest. It's like double what you paid in Glint on a regular basis, maybe, you know. Thinking about burning any gold soul bounds to chase, max out regular. I want to max out gold or just so hard to get right now. Yeah, I, I did. I went and I burned all my gold Gladius cards and my gold um, soulbound cards for Glint. And then I bought a ton of cards. Still don't have any maxed out, but I'm going to go after the regular foil, max them out, and then work. If I got time, I'll work on the gold cards, but more than likely I'll end up having to buy them one day out of the store type of thing. Okay, there's that. Thanks, DTM, for taking time to bring us all this info in the chest. Yeah, that was his first video he did. Chasing SPS right now for two reasons. One, more glint, and the other is for maybe a perceived pump coming up here in the next three to six months. That's something we all would love. And uh, so there's that. Uh, this is about Atlas Earth. Thanks for the update. It's interesting. I think the perfect time to pay for the Explorers Club is going to be in that 60 to 90 login streak because that's when the big bonus is coming. I don't know how that works. I, I never thought of that, but he's right. If you bought it at the 60 to 90 day login, that's when you get the most, but does it allow you? If you purchase the Explorer Club, does it put you back at the beginning? I don't know because maybe it just benefit to buy those out of a 90 day cycle it'd be better just to buy that last 30 days. You're right. And oh, by the way, I got $5. I got to $5 in seven days today. Since I started doing the Explorers Club a month ago, it was once every 15 days. So I've cut that a little bit more than half right now. So that is working. The, the Explorers Club is working. Uh, and I'll make a video on that. Okay, new comment on the Strike Force. Oh, I, I'm playing Strike Force on Misplay, and it's real easy to record on your phone. So I just did it, and it's been one of my best videos. Because one, I'm not talking, and two, it's it's a pretty cool game. Now you can't, it's not Web three, uh, but I am making money on it because I'm playing it through Misplay. Now I don't have a link for Misplay because the link is like a mile long. And you get like 100, 100 credits, not a big deal. But by playing the game, over time you build up and then you can cash it in for cash uh, and send it to your PayPal account. So uh, anyway, I'm having a good time. I, I made another video today of it. Uh, Ashley, now this, this is a bot. Ashley, your content deeply resonates with viewers. Sell, belief ignites the inner fire to achieve greatness. I don't know anybody who talks like that except a bot. But Ashley, if you're if you're real, I apologize. Probably a bot, but you know what? Thank you for the comment. I'll take it. I need all the comments I can get. Okay, let's go. Bolts85. Loves your comment. Where's your lucky hat? Thanks for sharing, Bolts85. Yeah, he made a video and his lucky hat wasn't on his head. He had his he had the other thing on. I'm stacking SPS as much as possible right now because if it's going to do anything, I believe it will be in the next three to six months. Thanks for the vid. Balls 85, that's right. I'll make sure I wear that lucky hat for the town hall meeting for sure. Yep, yep, yep. That, that, was, that was a good town hall meeting, I got to admit. Okay, good feedback. This is on his Atlas Earth that he made. He joined underneath me uh, or on my link and he's actually without the Explorers Club on paper doing better than I am on gathering uh, pieces of land. And you just have to go watch it and then watch mine to get an idea how that is. Yes, I have been keeping up with your videos on the topic and it's interesting to see how it's going. Thanks for the update. And yes, I don't really intend at this point to buy plots or do the Explorers Club. Yeah, you, you don't need to. That's the whole point he's proven, is you don't need to go buy, spend money on it. You can just build it up if you're patient. Uh, sorry to hear about the family problem. Yeah, he, he. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a wedding or an emergency, but he, had, he didn't do a stream last week. Good that you took advantage of that and got some badges, though. But while he was out and about, he got some passports. 
Now I'm second level passport and I need 10 more to get to third, but I've already bought up all the counties and, and towns around me. So, so anyway, he, on the trip, he picked up a couple. Uh, the calculator site is awesome and thanks for sharing. Just started my second month of Explorers Club. We'll make a video on it today. That's why I talked about the $5 thing uh, just now. K, KGM Jam, Guild of the Guardians. This is another game on Immutable X that uh, I'm playing that one through Immutable X where I get gems and I get the token for playing. The longer I play this, in fact, I'm going to play it tonight because I didn't play it yesterday. This looks awesome. Uh, yeah, it's it's um, nice, fast-paced, easy-moving game. Same thing, though. I can play it on my mobile app. It's so easy to record it, and it's it looks good. And here's another big mystery about Splinterlands. I, I don't know if it's the cost. I think that's what they said it was. But anyway, all of us play our games on the mobile we need to be on the mobile. That could you could take Splinterlands and put it into a platform like Misplay, where they you pay people to play your game and get new recruits that way. You know what I'm saying? But without a mobile app, I, I, it's not possible. Uh, anyway, thanks, Baltz85. Let's see at this. What's your referral code? Yeah, I got to go get it. Um, Positive vibes, appreciate it. I got to put my referral code on there so I can get people signed up for that game. First I've seen of this game, having any fun with it? What's the investment amount versus return? No investment amount, buddy. I'm just playing it. It's free. Now, of course, they do have ways to spend money, but uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm getting to be like a lot of people on this. It's like just, you know, be patient. Take what the game will give you. Don't get greedy. And the it's like in any casino-like environment. You start thinking, if I put more money in, I'll make more money. And that's usually not the case. So just playing the game, get the freebies stuff, you know. Uh, maybe one day I start spending money on it uh, because I get hooked on it. Like, you know, like Golem Overlord. I bought the VIP pass because I saw a value in doing so. That's what the platforms need to learn how to do is not make you spend money, get you to want to spend money, and then support the market to keep it the values, you know, at least stabilized as much as possible. I don't have any answers on how to do that, you know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Okay, positive vibes again. KGM sounds good, man. Thank you. I think we both get some quests and gems or something like that. All I know is the game has a mechanic that's similar to Splinterlands where you get seven to nine energy for dungeons and you regenerate one per hour. I did not know that. I was told it's important to waste that energy as much as possible. A cool feature is if you've already done a dungeon, you can click the sweep option to automatically complete the dungeon again for rewards to use up your energy. Would love to hear you actually talking about the game so we can learn through you. Thanks for sharing. Um, yeah, let me let me learn the game more before I start talking about it. Give me a month or two. I I, I mean I just gotta learn. I I just that was the first time I played it, to be honest. Okay, so I can archive that. Almost done here, guys, with the comments. Uh oh sizzle, nice hit. Oh, that was for my pinnacle. Disney's got a app where they are NFTs, and they're pins, though. It's a pin-collecting app, and it's pretty cool. I, I like it. It's not terribly exciting. You're just collecting things, but, you know, I'm sure they're going to add stuff to it. It doesn't have a market yet, so I grabbed some of the freebies, and I bought a couple, and uh, we'll go from there on it, see what it's like. Archive, okay. Samuel Lee, described subscribe to you on YouTube. Thank you, Lee, for subscribing. And I got to fix that. New comment. Okay, why not one, two, three, four? Just random thought that popped into the noggin. Wouldn't reward cards that were connected to achievements be a cool way to get some reward cards? Like win three for common, win five for rare with magic, win seven for sneak 
for Epic, one nine for Legendary in a row. With just a small selection of cards or whatever each day changing daily, max one of each per day. That's not a bad idea at all. Uh, it's right now, though, the, I mean, how much can the team implement? You know, they, 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 but yeah, that's something that they could, you know, write down and say, hey, we're going to add that one day. But that is a great idea. And thanks for watching. Why not? One, two, three, four. Okay, there's that one. And the last one, Bolts85, love my comment. Hey, Bolts, got to see you. Time is so short for all of us. Thanks for the video and the insights. Yeah, he just made a, a video that he hadn't made in a while, the one before the the one I commented on earlier. And um, he's been busy. And that's, isn't that true about all of us? I mean, that think about it. You got work, you got family, you got your your addictions, your games, you got Netflix. What they're all fighting over is your time. And one thing the the streaming services learned the hard way after, right? I think they knew it was coming after the COVID was, okay, well, there's, a, there's 500 streaming services. There's 24 hours in a day. Somebody's not going to be around, you know? And because... I'll be honest, I watch The Office on Peacock and YouTube, and that's it. That's it. That's 99% of my viewership. And on YouTube, I watch, I, I do, I like I, a lot of religious stuff, like um, the, you know, Bible podcast, but I love those, uh, you know, the, the Book of Enoch, uh, archaeology, biblical art, you know, just all that stuff. And then I watch the gaming videos. And that's it. I ain't got no more time. People, I've got 20 movies I'm supposed to go watch. I don't have time. I, I mean, it's it's that's what they're fighting for, is your time. How can I get you to go to Pro Advertisers Club and spend all day there? How can I even get you to go there in the first place, let alone spend all day there? That's the million dollar question. So anyway, there's all the messages. Okay, uh, real quick, what was I gonna show you? Oh, I wanted to show you something. Watch this about what I was talking about on pink, uh, black pink. Pink recycled, recycle song. Watch this, this is gonna blow your mind. And they're not the only ones doing it. But it's these corporations. They buy... Let me see if I can find it. See, there, there's already so many songs. But if I can find this one guy, he did an excellent short on it. Here it is right here. Watch this. This is amazing. Hold on. Where's the volume? Why can't I hear it? Hold on. Did I turn down the volume? Oh, yeah. Why isn't that working? All these groups that use the same song. See, so three songs right here they've copied, and it's legal. They the, the company owns the music, but that's what they do is they just recycle this stuff. Okay. I think I got enough. Let's go look at land real quick. Fifty. 
filters. Hold on, I gotta go here first. Okay, by land. I don't know why my computer's running so slow. Okay, $14 for any of those. Yeah, I mean, I could just concentrate on land and be happy, to be honest. I don't have to play the game because this is a game in itself, and, it, and it's going to get better as, it, you know, once they implement the other stuff. And Magical's at 30. Okay. All right, let's go see if I got enough. Oh, this is a... Okay, this is me right there. Um, I'm only third level, and it's playing a fourth level. So I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. Yep, got my ass kit. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go and see if I got enough merits. Oh my gosh, any day. Let's go. All right, there we go. I got some glint, that's for sure. This is a much longer video than I... And I hope the volume you turned down, did it? I hope you just picked up my... This microphone's up here, so it should have been okay. All right, so I got 12, so I'm going to buy two rare. Because I'm trying to max out those summers. I should get at least one summer. And I'm all done with the chest because I'm on the second batch is already. summer so there you go and then I got enough for two of these I do love the new glint system I love it but um, they're gonna have to you know adjust things as it goes along okay there we go all right well listen um, Thank you for watching. If you get a chance, go check out Privatizers Club. It, also, go to eBay and check out my store, KG and Jam, eBay store. Please like and follow it and, and just follow along to see, uh, see how I do with it. I'll be making videos on it. Thank you for watching. I know your time's important. Have a nice night.